Representative, can you can you explain this, this provisional lawsuit? What what uh, did the the circuit court decide exactly, and what what is the challenge? What are they seeking to do with the challenge? Sure. The the sixth circuit court of appeals yesterday ordered Hamilton County to count the provisional ballots that were still outstanding um, in the uh, judicial race in, in Hamilton County. The Republicans have been appealing decisions at every turn that have ordered them to count those ballots. So again, we have another decision to count eligible voters' ballots, and now we have the Republicans filing a, uh, a in the Ohio Supreme Court uh, to again try to not count provisional ballots, and to have Secretary Houston rescind directives uh, that explained about counting provisional ballots. So you have a decision in the Sixth Circuit and a kind of end run around that in the Ohio Supreme Court by Republicans, all in an effort not to count provisional ballots. What was the provision in House Bill 104 that relates to that specifically about counting provisional ballots or not counting? House, House Bill 194 had a lot of provisions dealing with provisional ballots. There's a couple in particular. One uh, clearly laid out that poll workers did not have a duty to direct voters to their correct precinct. One of our biggest uh, types of provisional ballots in Ohio is voters who are either in the wrong polling place or in the wrong table of um, in the correct polling place. And in 194, rather than try to help those voters and count those votes, we have a very uh, controversial provision that says poll workers don't have to tell voters where to go. There were also a bunch of small changes to the provisional ballot section of the code about uh, increasing the requirements for provisional ballots, increasing the number of fields that would have to be completed, and just making it much more complicated. So that's, that's how you say it's not in run around the referendum effort, I guess what you said, right? And when you say they don't have to legally tell the voters or direct the correct precinct, the way I understood it is it's not so much the concern that they're not going to tell you, no, no, you should be over at that table. It's the concern is that if they tell you you should be at that table and you should actually be at the table next to it, your vote's not going to count. Is that still work? Currently, your vote doesn't count if you're at the wrong table. And so, but voters have an affirmative duty to tell a voter where, which table or which polling place they should be in. Under the law, we still have the problem where people will get confused where to go, and now poll workers won't even have to tell voters which table or which polling place. So we have the problem now, and we're making it worse with House Bill 194, which is one of the reasons I think over 400,000 people signed the petition to put it on the ballot. They're going to take the responsibility away from the poll workers, so they have no responsibility at all in directing or giving information. Did that the consent decree from 2010 address some of that problem? The consent decree, uh, it, it's complicated, but the consent decree addressed a subset of, of provisional voters that vote with the last four digits of this, their social security number and said that those votes, whether they were cast in the right precinct or not, um, should be counted. Um, there were, I think in 2011, there were about 1,500 of those votes across the state. Uh, so it's a small subset of votes. It's still very important. But what is happening is this lawsuit that is filed in the Ohio Supreme Court is attacking a larger, it, it talks about the consent decree, but it's trying to get Secretary Houston to rescind all the provisional ballot um, directives, which have a much broader impact than that um, small number of votes that's impacted by the consent decree. I'm sorry if that's a little bit of a complicated answer, but it's, it's pretty.